I collected every cursed and illegal mob in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Everything from rainbow dogs and armored foxes to super speed horses, cursed ender dragons, illegal ender crystals, and features that Mojang tried to remove. There's over 120 unique mobs to show you, many of which you could get in survival mode. Not only am I showing you these cursed features, but there's also a world download below so that you can try them yourself, and you can even get these mobs into your own worlds by using the structure blocks. This is part one of a new mini series showing all the illegal and cursed items, blocks, and mobs in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Subscribe so you don't miss the next videos, and let's hop into it. First up, we got the illegal end crystals. These are beaming end crystals that actually send their beams all the way to zero, zero. I'll show you more in a second, but basically you could get these just by respawning the ender dragon and pushing one of the respawn crystals into the portal. It's not actually that difficult and you can move these things around with pistons so you can actually have these in your survival world and this bug still works to this day. You can also get the end crystal that's on top of the end obelisk with the bedrock structure at the bottom of it. Again, you can get these just by using pistons and pushing them into portals and stuff like that. They're not super difficult to get, but it is a little time consuming. Also, some people call these immortal end crystals, but like, you know, they still explode. By the way, each one of these points to a specific location in the overworld tied to where it was pointing in the end dimension. So I set up a little display for these things in the overworld, and I think you can probably figure out what's happening. So the very middle is going to be the end fountain in the end dimension, and each one of these beams is pointing to the top of one of the obsidian obelisks in the end dimension so basically you just send through the crystal right as it's beaming to that location and then it'll still be beaming to that location if you move it to zero zero in the overworld and when you do this bug in the end dimension it also does a separate bug where you have beaming crystals on top of all the pillars pointing to the very center to respawn the dragon next up is immortal mobs this was one of the best bugs of bedrock edition and these guys are proper immortal they don't take any damage from a sword as you can see i have a very high High level of strength so I can one hit kill anything and they don't even take any damage outright. This bug was in Bedrock Edition for a very long time. Basically you just had to kill a mob with a harming potion while you healed it with a healing potion at the same exact time and then they would glitch out and like shake and be weird but once you relog you get these immortal mobs and you could do this with basically any mob in the game. It's actually quite fun. Now there are still ways for them to die. For example you can kill them with harming potions because they are susceptible to magic and also the oxalotls can like asphyxiate on land and stuff is that is that the right word suffocating on land i don't know they, they drown outside of water. And just because it's an immortal creeper doesn't mean that they won't explode and kill themselves. Another classic Bedrock Edition bug was the Rainbow Dogs bug. This was a command that you could run that would summon a baby red dog and then you could die it and it was actually really cool. This bug has actually been removed from Bedrock Edition and the only reason why you can still see the colors is because I'm using an older texture pack from before this bug was fixed. So if you have a very old texture pack that if dogs, you'll probably still see this bug. The world download is also going to include the texture pack that makes these guys visible, so if you want it, it's really easy. As you can see, the entity born command still works for summoning in these cute little guys. Now, you can't really tame them, but you can grow them up and they'll get the little hearts. They just won't sit and they won't follow you or anything. But once you try to dye their colors, that is when you'll actually be able to change the color of the dog, and it is such a fun bug. I seriously love this one so much. Now, don't tell anyone, but I think that this bug is probably going to affect the new Wolves of Bedrock Edition as well. So we're going to be able to get all the different nine varieties in all the different colors. And while we're here in the end dimension, I have some very dangerous mobs to show you. So this is going to kind of blow your mind. Uh, this is a very old bug of Bedrock Edition, but you can trap an Ender Dragon inside of a minecart or you can trap it inside of a boat, which I find to be a lot more fun because then you can get inside the boat with the Ender Dragon and move it around. But if you even turn the boat slightly, then as you can see, the dragon is going to start shaking and that is the least shaking that it'll ever do. As you can see, if we get in the boat and start churning more dramatically, then it's going to absolutely freak out and uh, just kind of have a really bad day. Now, for some reason, if you have these guys in the end dimension and you re-log, one of them will be deleted and the other one will start flying around regularly. 
but if we have this in the other world, it's a bit more interesting. So we can still load these guys in and they're still inside the minecart and inside the belt, but once we start to back away, then we're gonna start having some issues. As you can see, once we get far enough away from them, they'll actually start flapping and animating. And if we re-log right now, they're actually gonna start flying around. So if we log back in, as you can see, both of these dragons have escaped their containers and they're flying around and our beaming in crystals are actually working as well. Now, if we move over here to where the chunks are loaded again, as you can see, they teleport back into their boats. Also, look how cool that is. It got stuck in like the sideways flying animation. Now, if you hit these guys while they're in here, then they're actually going to stay red. You're probably wondering how I even got them into the minecart or the boat in the first place. And there was a bug way back in the early days of Bedrock Edition, like Minecraft 1.2, where they could get inside of boats and minecarts. And surprisingly, if you go back, make a world, do that bug, and bring it all the way forward to the current update it still works they're still in the boat with minecart it's just it's fantastic and incredibly buggy there's also another really silly bug where these guys basically turn into loafs if we zoom in really far you can see the ender dragon has a uh very borked texture. So if we go far away from them and re-log, as you can see, they're gonna start damaging the world. I turned on mob griefing. As you can see, there's uh, quite a few blocks getting deleted over here. Now there are ways to avoid this because they go to the highest block at zero, zero. And currently that's at the bottom of a river. So they're just, they're having a great time. But if we put some obsidian up by that crystal, then they wouldn't actually fly through the terrain. And another little known bug that you can get using commands is super speed zombies. There's no real reason why these guys have super speed, but if you summon them in with the entity born little tag there, this works for zombie villagers, husks, and zombies, possibly even more mobs. But as you can see, all these guys are incredibly quick and they just they just knock that guy out of there. Why, why did he go back? Okay, he's kind of stupid. But yeah, as you can see, it is really fast and it's amazing in every way. I think what might be happening here is it's giving these guys the speed of a baby zombie since it has the entity born tagline there, but it's just not summoning the baby mob. Either way, very peculiar and this speed effect never goes away. It's like a built-in attribute of these guys. And you really got to see that on a wider stage. If we put a zombie out here, then yeah, they just, they absolutely go for it. If this was the regular speed of zombies, we would not stand a chance in this game. I mean, look at this. You just can't fight that. It's impossible. This bug has been around for quite a long time and it's still in the game if you want to try it out yourself in your survival world. So if you have a baby zombie or any variety of them, you can dispense any mob head that you want on them and it's gonna be absolutely massive. And this applies to any of the heads in the game. As you can see, with the skeleton, Steve, zombie, creeper and piglin are all absolutely massive on these guys and as you can see it works for baby zombies baby zombie pigmen and baby husks as well i think the best way to utilize this is to get a bunch of baby zombies dispense them zombie heads and then just see your friends reactions because that is terrifying next up we got banner mobs this was just recently removed from the game so you can no longer get these in survival but basically all of the humanoid mobs in minecraft including the babies would actually pick up the illager banners if you drop them on the ground now none of these guys will actually give you the bad omen effect besides this guy right here for some reason and he just picked up a banner i didn't like summon him with the, the weird commands or anything so if you have one of these in your minecraft world or just sitting around make sure you go ahead and collect them because you can no longer get them in the current updates another one of my all-time favorite bugs is armored foxes so you could dispense armor to any fox that you wanted to and you could also give them weapons like tridents and shields now you do need a texture pack to show these on the mobs and that's why it's slightly broken if you don't have the texture pack they'll still be wearing this stuff but it won't be visible and as you can see if we go ahead and kill these guys they're gonna drop a whole bunch of things unfortunately this bug has been removed but how it used to work is you just use the dispenser full of armor you dispense it to the guys and then that's really all there was to it but if you have one of these mobs in your world it's now a rare and classic bug that you won't be able to get in the newer updates the fun thing is that these guys can actually wear and use elytras. The world download is also going to include the texture pack. That way you can see the armored foxes. I always love showing off of this bug. It is such a fun one, but
but you can glowstone mobs and this is still in the current update you can go try this right now in your survival worlds but if you put glowstone in a dispenser you can actually dispense that onto yourself as you can see it goes into the helmet slot it doesn't emit a light or anything and you can't see it unless you have like a specialty texture pack or something but all of these guys are currently wearing glowstone on their head so if we remove the blocks as you can see they're not going to burn in the daylight and if we kill them as you can see they're going to go ahead and drop that glowstone as well another one of my all-time favorite bugs of bedrock edition has sadly been removed but this is the speed horses bug this is a bug where you could breed together two horses and as long as they had the speed effect their offspring would have that effect by default so you'd start with like two regular horses you would hit them with some speed arrows breed them up and then the baby would be slightly faster if you did that over just a few generations you would get a horse like this one that is just simply way too fast and there was absolutely no upper limit to this bug if the parents had speed 255 the baby would get speed 255 and as you can see it is just ridiculously quick as well and uh there is basically no controlling a horse that is this speed it is a little bit silly and it's even better when you get off the horse because then the horse's ai takes over and they just start zipping around and this didn't just work on horses either no 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 this worked on basically any mob that you could ride so this is a speed 255 pig and it's uh it's the best thing i've seen in my entire life and then we have a couple more dispenser mobs so all of these guys are wearing armor or mob heads where they normally wouldn't be able to so this witch for example wearing a whole bunch of armor as you can see the witch dropped some boots that time proving that it was actually wearing full armor that guy dropped some pants and this guy continues to not drop anything because he doesn't like me so yeah they're all wearing full armor it's just invisible unless you have like maybe a special t texture pack this right here is an unexploded tnt it looks like just a regular white cube and that's because it basically is you could make these in survival mode basically you need to send a tnt through another portal right as it's about to explode and then you'd have a chance of getting one of these little cubes in the nether now the great thing about these is that you can actually hook them with a fishing rod and then it's a little bit like a soccer ball so if we just yoink that thing as you can see it goes absolutely flying and it's really fun i actually built a soccer game out of this and I, I got a whole stack of them right here i mean there's like probably a dozen or more of them in there so we we can go for days another old school bug of bedrock edition that got removed pretty promptly is leaded oxalotls so if you had an oxalotl on the ground and you leaded it you could then pick it up a bucket and it would still be leaded to you so if we put this guy down you're gonna see that it drops off a lead it just like magically out of nowhere previously if you put them down they would still be leaded to you and it was actually really convenient honestly low-key wish that was still in the game but hey at least you still get your lead back these next couple displays are from Loranjo's a block museum world download you can find a link to it in the description and a huge thank you to them for letting me share these and then we got all these secret paintings of bedrock edition these were originally added to bedrock in 050 alpha they are really really old but you can no longer get them unless you have a world with them in them as you can see there is the water earth air and fire elements these were just recently added to java edition for like one snapshot where you could get them in the creative inventory they had their own custom item but then they were removed again it's such a weird little thing of minecraft i don't know why they don't just add it to the base game because like they're there we know they're there we've had them forever but you just can't get them in survival or really creative either so i don't know what mojang's doing and next up we have some really weird player entities so these are actual fake players that are completely invisible unless you have like a texture pack or something and as you can see they can wear and have all different kinds of equipable items and stuff and this is a technical thing that like a lot of different servers use as you can see here from this little info book now the interesting thing about these is that you can actually have hostile mobs attack them as you can see evokers will summon things at them the zombies will go mess them up and they can actually be on fire as well it's kind of silly now at some point i know that there was like a steve spawn egg in bedrock edition i've yet to get my hands on that but when i do it'll be included in this world as you can see there's a lot of weird and wild just absolutely crazy entities that you can get in bedrock edition so many fun bugs from over the years if you can think of anything that i might be missing then let me know down in the comments and if you enjoyed this video then consider subscribing thank you so much for watching and then there was silence.